Oh my god, we're under attack by a pirate. What's going on guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mod showcase on the Steam Ship and Steam Boat mod. As you can see in front of us, there's actually a hot air balloon, which is really cool looking. I've seen some other mods like this, but I really like the model of this one. And one thing that's very interesting about it is you can shoot arrows when you're flying around. So you can actually like attack mobs, have battles and stuff like that. And not really something I'd expect from a hot air balloon. So it's pretty cool. And guys, to make today a little bit more exciting, I have turned this into an obstacle course once again. You guys have been loving them. So smack that like button. If we can hit like 3,000, I will keep them coming. And before we actually get into the crafting recipes, there's one really important thing to mention. And that is the controls. Because when you load this mod up, they're actually really weird and hard to get used to. So I suggest changing them. So what you're going to want to do is head over to options. And then to controls. And as you guys can see, there's a section for the airship, but the controls are just so weird. Like, numpad 2, 5, and 8 just doesn't work for me. So click on one of these and switch it to something you could remember. I'm going to go with tab for this. Fire, definitely F. F for fire makes sense. Open chest R is fine. And up. I'm going to switch to alt because it's right next to space bar. And guys, if you were to switch it to the space bar, then you actually can't jump in game, which is kind of a big problem if you can't jump around. All right, so there we go, and now I can control my airship, but we do have a couple crafting recipes. So first up, the balloon. You need a balloon to actually get into the air, and for that, you need a bunch of leather and a bunch of string as well. And then you need some engines. For that, it's iron ingots around a piston, and really the recipe is pretty reasonable for this. Then you need four string, two engines, a furnace, a balloon, and a boat. And guys, we're under attack right now. Oh god, a pirate, a pirate ship. I forgot about this. We don't have time. I need to grab everything, and we need to get in there. And the obstacle course requires us to hit the targets, but first, we must kill the pirate ship. It's awesome. It finally is happening. They're actually really rare. So what we're going to do is go into the air, and to fire is F. So we're going to try to get near this pirate ship and totally own the dude. As I mentioned, you can battle with this, guys. How cool is this? I am freaking fighting a pirate right now. We got to take him out, guys. We got to take this dude down. There we go. And I don't believe they actually drop anything. Maybe just experience. But um, let us land. And we'll check it out. Alright, so you can land super quick. Look at that. That is crazy. But um, <laughs> let's get out of this and see if we got anything. I mean, I searched around for so long. And I actually hadn't seen any of those. And I'm glad we finally found one during the review. That's amazing. I think they just dropped experience. But still so cool. When you're flying around in that, you can actually get attacked by pirates which is so amazing all right guys before we get back into the ship i want to show you exactly how everything works we kind of got distracted because a pirate attacked us which was freaking awesome and i just went right into battle mode but to actually use this what you're going to need to do is fuel it and you can do that with coal by right clicking it you can see it's disappearing and going to the ship or you can go into it first hit r and the interface opens and just toss it in and this is where your arrows go, plus the airship has its own freaking inventory. How amazing is that? So if you looted a bunch of stuff and your inventory is just full as hell, toss some stuff in here, like diamonds, anything. Plenty of room. Has 12 slots. Really cool. So now we are ready to take flight once again and actually try the obstacle course. No distractions. No pirate ships trying to kill us. I really do love that aspect of it. It'd be kind of cool if they add in, like, boss pirate ships like giant ones firing like tons of stuff at you It'd be really cool but um and as you guys saw before when you go down it does not hurt you and it goes really quick too it's actually pretty easy to control this but shooting stuff is not always simple so we're gonna go into the air a little bit just high enough to take flight and try to get these targets i set up see that one right there and try to get a little bit closer to it and it's really hard to like stop yourself like mid-flight all right, so via F, we can shoot an arrow, which is, I'd say, a lot harder to aim than a normal bow is. Actually, got it right there. All right, let's try this again. The ship is moving all over the place. So I set up these targets to make it a little bit more fun as we set up this review here. Try to get right in the middle. It's going to be really hard. Going for it. Kind of close. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. Let's try this other one over here, and then we'll hit the iron golems. And you can see we must land over there. And I set up a really cool thing for the other ship as well. I think we got them all. What's going on, bro? I'm like right in his face. There we go. Let me make sure I can actually hit this one. I feel like once you start, you just can't stop. 
There we go. In the last iron golem. All right, so we must land over here, which is really simple to do, guys. You know, whatever command you set it to, and just go right down. It's like sliding off. There we go. And it may walk around a little bit, because, you know, airships can walk. <laughs> no, the airship, when you land, if it's still moving, it kind of moves around a little bit. But you can actually push it back yourself with your body. So, not really a big deal. Should land about here now. And now, guys, we are on to the next obstacle. We must travel through this without, you know, killing our ship, which works really good, by the way. And to actually make the boat, it's just a bunch of wood and an iron ingot. But this right here is the anchor. It does absolutely nothing at the moment. I guess it's a work in progress item. I tried it out. It doesn't stop the ship or anything. So what we're going to do is try to maneuver ourselves through this little maze of TNT I made. And yeah, the ship is so much cooler than a normal boat because, you know, you can actually maneuver it around pretty easily. It doesn't crash and break apart. But one issue is, it's kind of an issue. I'm assuming they're going to do something with this. You can right-click it and give it coal, but it doesn't do anything. So it doesn't really matter if you give it to it or not, and there is no interface. So we're going to try to travel through. It's actually pretty quick as well compared to a normal boat. And here we go. And at the end, I set up a little thing so we can have a little fun and actually make an explosion. I figured if I did this out of TNT, we might as well. All right, we're making it to the TNT island here. There's like so many squids around too. All right, there we go, guys. We've made it. And that is the end of the obstacle course. I had a ton of fun, and the mod is actually really cool for transportation. So I gave us a little bit of flint and steel, and I'm definitely going to switch myself into creative. I figured why not. I put all this TNT here. I was like, I cannot stop myself from at least blowing something up. So there should be should be some fun here. All right, here we go. And everything is gone. Awesome. But anyways, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to slam that like button and to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video.